Good morning. Sneaky garbage bag hanging out. Get in there. Welcome to our little Taco Tuesday build your own bar. I don't know why I got ready today. I'm just gonna sort it all off. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren back with another day in the life video. Today, I just wanted to share a little peek at what I consider to be a productive day in my life. If you're new, hey, I'm Lauren. I'm a mom on a healthy living lifestyle journey. I have a goal for losing 150 pounds and so far I'm 73 pounds down using the WW Blue Plan and counting calories for a calorie deficit. A productive day in my life starts with me waking up before my three-year-old daughter, getting a little refreshed, washing my face, putting on my sunscreen because it is Georgia it's that time of year and we never know when we're popping outside to play so I want to make sure my skin's protected I also head downstairs and try to get through any emails from brands or any new comments I love talking with you guys in the comment section on my videos I respond to every single one so please introduce yourself say hey let's have a chat in the comment section so we can get to know each other then this morning, Lila seemed to be sleeping in a little bit, so I went ahead and started making my breakfast and coffee. These sandwiches are some of my favorites right now in the morning. I did them as a test for a freezer meal prep and they came out amazing. They're kind of a little DIY twist on a sausage egg and cheese McMuffin from McDonald's and I really love them. So I'm gonna share them in an upcoming freezer meal prep with you guys. For my coffee this morning, I'm just making a couple shots of espresso in my Nespresso, adding a bit of sugar-free coffee mate, Italian sweet cream coffee creamer, and then topping it off with almond milk. And just for fun, let's add a drizzle of some sugar-free caramel sundae sauce. This always really livens up my drink and it makes me feel more like I picked up a fun fancy latte at Starbucks but I'm DIYing mine at home for less points and less calories. And of course, I have hot food waiting to be eaten, so naturally, my tiny human is awake. Are you awake? Good morning. Good morning. First thing in the morning, and she has dug out her jewelry box. What did you find? And I find necklaces. Do you like jewelry? I do. I know. Yeah. You... And I got something in my box. You love to play dress up. All right, princess, do you want to go downstairs and have some breakfast? Mm. Then we headed downstairs. Lila had some oatmeal with blueberries. I got to finally eat my warm McMuffin and have my coffee. And then we got ready for the day. Now we're back downstairs. I'm filling up our water bottles because we are heading outside. We love getting outside early in the morning, especially as it becomes summer here in Georgia because it gets so hot and so humid. So outside we go. What do you think? Are we gonna go to the park? Mm -hmm. I almost don't know why I got ready today. It is so hot already and it's only like 10 a.m. It's been in like the 90s in Georgia already. It does not bode well for a mild summer. Lila bug, I see you. Hello. 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 Where are you going? We're going to the park. Oh, is it hot today? Yeah. We might need some midday popsicles later though. Can you go down the slide? All right. Okay. I'll watch you. There she is. Woo! I don't know guys, this might be a short lived park trip. <laughs> Everything is hot. It's only 10 a.m. It's already like 88, 89 degrees out. It's super sunny. I don't know why I got ready today. I'm just gonna sweat it all off, but I don't know. Sometimes I feel more productive. Like I just get my day going faster if I don't just like chill in my mom life, robe and no makeup and no hair done. <laughs> so. Oh well, at least we're up and outside for a bit today. This is our OOTDs. Out for the day, guys. Out for the day, guys. Just wear the white leggings. Just do it. Water break. There you go. Drink up. It's hot out. It's so hot today. Uh, 
Okay, and I wanted to update you guys a little bit on mile a day May. So I've been doing a challenge where I've been trying to walk at least a mile, sometimes more. Some days I've done two miles. I've done a 5K, which is just over three miles a couple times. Um, but the last few days I haven't been updating on Instagram because I've been recovering from rolling my ankle when we were camping. So that's the last day, last Thursday. It's Tuesday today. Um, I did my probably a two mile walk at the campground right before we packed up to leave. We just did a little midweek camping trip because um, my husband was off work. And when we were packing up the car, I turned my ankle over and it was a little bit swollen, a little bit tender. I don't know that I did anything official official to it other than like tweak it. I don't know the medical terms, but um, I've just been giving it some time to heal fully so I didn't injure myself further. So I kind of took a break last Friday through Sunday. Yesterday was Monday. I did walk my mile yesterday. Um, so I got that in. And then today, obviously we're doing our park trip. So it'll be just over a mile. I'm not pushing myself too far these first couple days back walking. Um, but yeah, we're back at it. You get back up again. It's not perfect. Progress over perfection, guys. Oh, they're all here. They're opening our pool. I'm so excited for this weekend. Okay guys, and for lunch, we are just having some leftovers. So I always keep a little pasta, whatever I make to the side for Lila, cause she doesn't like a lot of stuff in hers. So this is actually the Trader Joe's pesto tortellini, the dried pasta. It's so good. We really love it. Lila even likes it. So I just tucked a little bit of that to the side for her. It has a little spray. I can't believe it's not butter on it. And then I put some steamed broccoli in hers. And then Josh and I had this last night. It's the pesto tortellini. And then I cooked up some chicken breast. I used Italian seasonings on it. I actually used this Italian style, so Frito seasoning blend from Trader Joe's. Ooh, it is so good just to use up on some like diced or sliced chicken in a pan on the stove top, just fry it up, so good. And then I also had fresh Roma tomatoes chopped up in there, some shredded part skim mozzarella cheese, and then a couple tablespoons of sliced fresh basil from our little basil plant we got over there. So that was pretty much it. I just tossed it all together. No oil, butter, dressing, anything. Just kept it plain. And then um, we're using up just the last of this homemade balsamic glaze that I made back in one of my last meal preps. There's just a tiny bit left. It'll be perfect. This here is probably two or three servings left of the pasta salad. So um, I'll just use a tablespoon of the balsamic glaze. I will have about a cup of this pasta salad. I'm gonna heat mine up and yeah, that's lunch. What are you guys doing? You guys playing ball? Did you just stack a bunch of balls around her? Mm -hmm. oh. What do you got, Mills? Where's your ball? Where's your ball? <laughs> okay, guys, lunch is done. Lila is playing or tormenting her dog, one of the two. Um, I am actually going to start dinner. So tonight we're gonna do kind of a basic taco night, but I have frozen chicken. So I grabbed the crock pot out. I'm gonna stick this on high for three to four hours. It'll cook up fine. Toss some, here it is. Toss some taco seasoning and some chicken broth in with it uh, just a little bit for extra moisture i'm going to do that so i can have some shredded chicken and we'll make tacos out of it i need to finish putting away clean dishes i just loaded up the dishes from lunch in the dishwasher i gotta wash those couple of things i gotta get rid of my dirty towels it's just like pickup time after lunch she's like quietly playing hopefully for a few minutes i'm gonna take a couple minutes just to do a quick like five minute pick up and get set with dinner, get that rolling. And then I did actually put in an order for a Target drive up um, that I'm gonna have to go pick up in a couple hours when it's ready because we had no plain Greek yogurt and no light sour cream. And we want those for our tacos. So I am getting some light sour cream from Target because I'm planning to get just a large Faye plain non-fat Greek yogurt over at Costco. I'm doing a Costco run in a couple days. So we're kind of in that in between. I did a big Aldi haul, which I posted here on my channel. And then there's a different set of things I get from Costco for a bigger stock up. But then with Costco and Aldi, those are two stores that don't necessarily carry every kind of product or every brand of product or specific thing you'd want. So it's like you're almost stuck then doing one or two little mini runs to Target or another grocery store. So 
I don't know. We're making it work. All right, guys, timer is set. Let's do a 15 minute quick pickup as well as get I'm dinner started. Leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Got a quick pickup done. Dishes are away. Counters wiped down. Dinner's going. Oh, okay. I got that big old pile of gross towels that I collected upstairs and in the wash. Now I'm gonna set up Lila. Oh, sneaky garbage bag hanging out. Get it in there. Who else keeps just like tons of Target bags under their sink? All right, I got some work done. Lila watched a little show and had some quiet time. Now we're just playing chalk in the backyard on our little patio. Oh goodness, we have some grass growing in, guys. 
I think if you're new here, <laughs> this is a rental house we moved in in November. So we're still kind of figuring out what we want to do with our backyard. It's a rental, so we can't do too much. But wireless toys and little patio. My husband likes to grill and stuff, so. Hey Mills, where's hey. your ball? Where's your ball? Go get a ball. Go get a ball. It's so hot. I had to bring her water out today with us. Oh, good girl. Ready? Go get it. This is Millie's favorite. Good girl. Ready? Go get it. It's a perfect day for a popsicle party, guys. I forgot to show these, sorry, it is so bright out. Um, I forgot to show these in my Aldi haul, but they're little like creamsicles. They come in at four points on the WW Blue Plan. Mm, and they taste like summer. With vanilla ice cream in the middle. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it yum? Yum. Well, so much for my Target run, guys. It got late, I got busy. The chicken is done in the crock pot. Fam is hungry, so we are just gonna have some Taco Tuesday chicken tacos minus any sort of sour cream topping, which is fine. We have the chicken, we have cheese, we have lettuce, we have a couple different kinds of salsa, I have onion. Let's shred up our chicken and check on how it's doing. Oh yeah, that's done. We're starting to fall apart, yum. Bada boom, favorite zero point side dish. Okay guys, chicken is shredded. I'm gonna leave that in the crock pot. And then welcome to our little Taco Tuesday build your own bar. I have just some chopped up lettuce, diced onion. Here's that zero point side I was talking about. It's onion, garlic, corn and beans. And I just spray the bottom of the pan with a little bit of spray avocado oil for zero points. Totally zero points. Totally delicious, great as a side to tacos, enchiladas. We're gonna use this as a topper. I think I'm gonna build myself a salad. So we can do salads, or I do have tortillas for tacos, or um, the chips, my husband might build some nachos. It's just kind of like a little DIY bar. So I'm gonna use this as a topper on a salad. We have some salsa, zero point mild salsa, some regular cheddar cheese. So this is full fat cheese, so I'll have to count that for points but then just veggies and chips for sides. Chips will obviously have points. I believe you get 10 of these for four points. And then we're at 130 calories for 12 chips. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna build some, some taco stuff. And there we go. So this taco salad, I have romaine lettuce. I have the shredded taco chicken. I have some bell peppers. I have that zero point warm corn and bean salsa. I have a little bit of raw onion. I have shredded cheddar cheese. And then I used the cilantro avocado yogurt dressing from Bullhouse Farms, which I really love, about two tablespoons of that. And then I have 10 tortilla chips. So the only points on this whole plate are the cheese, the dressing, and the chips. Nice. It's a great low point dinner option. And we still have variety. My husband has nachos, Lila had tacos. We can mix it up and do what you want, but still minimal cooking because it's all made of the same ingredients. Anyway, I'm gonna eat and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Well, looks like I forgot to end this video and say goodnight to you guys. I'm so sorry. Anyway, that was our productive day in the life. I hope you guys enjoyed following along. We got our fitness in, we got some house cleaning done. I did some low point, good, healthy cooking for the family. So yeah, it was a great day. Thanks so much for joining me and until next time, bye. I get up, I always do.